What's up, y'all? I'm back. Sorry, it's just, yeah, man, it's been crazy few days. Sorry. So I'm going to make sure next week that I try to at least do a video every day. I know I've been missing videos here and there. So I originally was going to review this movie called Fish Piss. Yes, the title is real. But I thought about, I don't think I could title a video that. Because YouTube, you know, YouTuber, I was going to say something else. YouTuber gay. I'll just use that word. And <clears throat> so I don't think I'm going to review the whole movie. So what I'm going to do is I want to talk about why I don't like Miles. But before I get into that, I will review this movie really quick. And Steve, um, my friend, he even said he doesn't vouch for this movie. This is just a movie he told me about. And man, it it literally looked like a home movie. Like it was from 2023, but it looked like it was shot in like 1995. Like, the whole movie aspect, the acting was bad, the whole premise is this dude drinks fish pee, like, literally, like, like the title says, yes, fish piss. And the monster looked terrible, it was a bad movie, it was a weird one. I had fun with it, though, so to be honest, man, I'm gonna look for more, like, bad movies like that, because I might make that a thing. I'll see how I'm feeling this week. If not this week, for sure next week, I'm going to find, like, a a weird bad movie like that. Like, something like Cruel Jaws, you know? I'm going to find something like that and review it, so. Because I had fun. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was thoroughly entertained. It was bad, obviously. But it was entertaining how bad it was. It was only an hour and 15 minutes, you know? I've been having fun doing these bad movies, so I'm going to definitely find some more. Like, last year, you know, I did Thanks Killing. I did Jack Frost. So maybe I'll find some more like that, too. So, but anyway, this, this was a movie. That's all I could really say. That's the other reason. I just don't think I could do a whole video on it. So I just decided, I figured I still want to talk about it, but not do a whole video on it. But anyway, so that's my quick thoughts on... Yes, the title's real. It's really called Fish Fist. It, it's not, like... Wait. <laughs> I'll, that, that, I just, like, when I first saw I'm like, wait, that, there's no way... Yeah, that's the actual title. So now <laughs> They go into why. <coughs> they go into why I don't like Miles. <coughs> and the real reason is, I'll bet I didn't hate the character when I first heard about him. <coughs> I didn't like him because <coughs> I've never really liked any other version of Spider Man. To me, <coughs> Peter Parker is the character. He is what made that legacy. So I never liked Ben Riley really. <coughs> Spider-Man 2099 was cool, but it was because was he was in his own <coughs> corner. He wasn't like the mainline Spider-Man. <coughs> he was in his own world in 2099, so it was I'm fine with that. <coughs> but Miles was clearly made because they want him to surpass Peter. And that's <laughs> what really spawned this video is what Insomniac's doing. <clears throat> Where they really wanted to... That was clearly from the jump. They wanted to make Miles Spider-Man. <clears throat> Doesn't matter if it was done badly in Spider-Man 2. Like, why the fuck would Peter retire? Or people are even trying to say, maybe he didn't retire. He'd take it a break. Either or. Why would he do that only after, like, eight years? Spy the whole point of the With Great Power Comes Great Responsibility speech from Uncle Ben, which 
he's always given a version of it. Obviously, maybe not in those words like in the movie, but they definitely do pretty much given that speech in the comics too. And you're just basically throwing that all away. Peter wouldn't do that just because, oh, well, he lost his on. The city almost got me. Peter's gone through way worse shit in the comics and he didn't retire or take a break. This was clearly done because they wanted Miles to be their main Spider-Man. And that's one of the reasons I'm just... I My problem with the character fundamentally, A, he's a rip off of Peter. People don't want to admit he's a nerd. He has this... At least change him. You know, if you wanted to do Miles, you know what? You should have made him the exact opposite of Peter. Have him be a popular kid. Have him be a jock. You know, have him be a popular jock. But no, no, we have to make him a nerdy kid like Peter. Um, he doesn't have his own villains. I don't feel like he's earned anything either. I mean, the only version of Miles I'll say is somewhat earned something is the, the at least as of now anyway, the Spider-Verse version. Because at least in those movies, it seems like they're actually trying to make him his own character. But every other medium, he just feels like a rip off of Peter. Um, one of the problems I fundamentally had really is that how much he's shoved in everything now. Like, even going back and how look back and say, you can't tell me he wasn't even shoved in the first PS, you know, PlayStation Spider-Man game. You can't tell me that, because there was really no reason for him to be there. This should have been Peter's story. At least those first two games should have been Peter. Granted, the first game was more Peter's story. I'm not saying it wasn't. But even just throwing Miles in there. Why? Miles would have made more sense if you're going to do his character. Set him up in, like, the third game. Why would you... Do, it's because, no, they have to throw him in every Spider-Man thing now. And that's kind of why I've kind of grown to hate the character, is that. Is how much now he just has to be in every goddamn Spider-Man-related thing now. They're doing a live-action Miles. I'm like, you know that's going to happen. So it's like, now I know, as someone who loves Peter Parker Spider-Man, I'm like, I know he's just... We're never going to get a solo Peter thing again. Maybe in the MCU... But I don't even know how long in the MCU because they're doing this weird MCU direction. Who knows if they'll do they'll try to do Miles there too. It's like Peter can never just have his own thing anymore. He's not Batman. So I've even heard people say that Miles, maybe they could have fixed him if they had him be like Peter's psychic. I don't like that idea either. Because to me, Peter isn't Batman. He doesn't have a sidekick. He's not supposed to really have a partner. The whole point of Peter was that he's always kind of doing everything on his own. There was a reason, I mean, he didn't join the Avengers. He's been offered to join the Avengers before. Granted, in later stories, he eventually does join the Avengers. But for me, I prefer him not to be in a team. That's just, to me, that's not Peter's character. His character's always been he kind of does everything on his own. He's not supposed to have, like, a bat family like Bruce did. You know, bring training people. That's not Spider Man. That's not his character. I, I prefer, like, so it's like they feel like we gotta have another. There's too many spiders as it is, but it's like they're not even doing these other spiders anymore. Not really. I mean, Gwen, Spider Gwen, and I've talked about her, why I don't really like her either. And it's not, I like Gwen, but I don't like her as a spider. I think I've always hated that idea. You undo, I know this is side right really quick. You undid such an iconic... Her death was so iconic in the comic. You know, Gwen's death, and then you just basically undo it. Because, oh, it's multiverse version, and she has spider powers. I'm like, you already have a spider woman. You know, you, there's actual spider woman. And, you know, even Silk, if you wanted a female Spider-Man, I'd rather her. You know, you don't really need, like, making a, Gwen a spider is dumb. It just comes off like, oh, if you don't have superpowers, you're, you're basically shit. And that's what it feels like to me. And I'm not saying that's what the character was created for, but it comes off like that. Like, oh, she can't just be Peter's love interest and she can't just have that iconic death. No, no, no. We got to give her superpowers so she'll matter. It just, that's what it feels like. But anyway, that's a different talking point. But back to Miles. It's just how much he's just shoved in everything now. Like, he's literally like a million Spider-Man things now. There was no reason for Spider-Man 2 really to have his game. Spider-Man 1, if we're being honest. But at least Spider-Man 1, the first one, if he just did, if he didn't get the powers, if he just was Miles for those, at least that first two, those first two games, and if you really fucking had to put the character, at least a, we could have had two games of Peter's art, but we really didn't. 
we had to shove Miles in the second game just because, I guess, co-op. But, no. I, the, Miles didn't need to be in this game. He really did it, man. Especially with how much like you brought in Harry. And granted, I uh, you know I don't like that Harry's Venom. I, I really don't. But that's, that's besides the point. This was supposed to be Harry's the Peter's story. You can definitely tell that's what it's supposed to be. But no, we have to wedge this character in. And I just don't think his family life's interesting. He just it was made just to be the black Spider-Man. And that's all he really ever will be. That's why a lot of people call him just Peter Darker, because that's what he is. He's Black Peter Parker. They didn't at least even try to change the character. Like, have him be, like I was saying, like, a little bit ago, have him be, like, a jock. If you want him to be the, be a different character, there you go. Have him be a popular jock that gets bit by the spider. I'm not saying you have to make him, like, a douchey jock, but, like, he should be a jock. No, we can't make him a different character. And then they... I also don't really like... I, I just think it's cringe. I, I didn't like it in Spider-Verse. I don't like it in the comics. When you have to have... We have to really show Miles is black. So we have to have him wear like Nikes and hoodies. I hate that shit. I think he's supposed to be in costume. Why is he wearing a hoodie over his costume? It looks so stupid, for one. But also, it's so on the nose. It's like, oh, he's black, guys. So we have to have him wear... A hoodie and Nikes. It's like, that's so cringy to me. Because it's like, the equivalent would be if we was like Blue Beetle, because he's Mexican, have him wear like, you know, drive a fucking lowrider and wear a fucking, you know, the, the fucking sombrero. It's the same shit. It's so like on the nose, but people like it for some reason. I don't understand it. It, it just it comes off so cringe. It's like, if you wanted to make him his own person, then don't do that shit. That shit is cringe. It's like, if they did that with, like, John Stewart's Green Lantern, like, it'd be cringy. Like, oh, let's have him wear Jordans or Nikes and a beanie and a hoodie or a jacket. This is a big-ass jacket to make him, we gotta make him a black guy. He's, it's so dumb. So I don't like that about Miles. That's not necessarily why I hate the character. It's just, I think that's cringy. But, and also his fans. I think a lot of it is his fans. I mean, the moment you say he's not Spider-Man, oh, oh, they get mad. They get mad. Like, literally. They will just say Miles is, is Miles Morales is Miles Morales. They get mad. Because, I mean, and it's funny because literally every, like, his merch says it. His fucking comics say it. Even the fucking, I'm going to call it DLC. It wasn't its own game. Miles DLC shit was basically called Miles Morales, but yeah, totally. He's totally Spider-Man, even though we're gonna just keep calling him Miles. And you know, and someone on Twitter tried to make the point, well, but people were fine with Terry McGinnis. The difference is, for one, Bruce was old as fuck. So like let's split that, push that out the way. Peter's like 25 in this universe. Why is he retiring? Or even taking a break? He's fucking 25. It's not like he's old. So there, there's that part of it. Terry has his own villains. Yeah, you know, in the animated series, he fought a lot of Batman's villains too, or Bruce's villains. But be, but it's, I feel like also Terry's earned. That, like, that's a, that kind of goes into what I was also going to say. Like, Terry is earned. He has his own villains. He has his own character. And also, even his bat suit, you could tell that's Terry McGinnis, not Bruce Wayne. <clears throat> and also, they don't put down Bruce Wayne to prop up Terry either. And that's the other point. Because going back to the problem with Miles is they have to constantly put Peter down to bring him up. Because it's this shitty writing, modern writing. You know, they deal with, like, you know, female characters to, you know, male characters to prop up female characters. It's the same shit. It's weird. It's this, we gotta put down the white character. or I don't know, white man. You could switch it out either and prop up the supposed oppressed character. It's so bad. I don't know why you have to do that. That's why Terry worked. They didn't have to bring down Bruce to prop up Terry. They just, it was good writing to where they're, you know, they propped up Terry without doing that. They, they could have, maybe they could have done that without, to, with Miles, but no, it's these hack writers, and that's the only way they know. Oh, we got to bring Peter down. 
I mean, even in the Spider-Verse movies a little bit, the way they portray Peter, like, let's be real. A little bit of that is that. it's. I don't think it's the worst case, but it's it's there. I'm not going to act like it's not there. Um, but it is like, um, you don't have, it's just, hack. I look at that as hack writing, when you have to do that. And that goes, yeah, Terry McGinnis works because he earned his care. And also, Bruce is old as fuck, so it made sense at this point he would retire. He's not like 25, <laughs> you know? will say the best version of miles at least the miles i can tolerate is the spider verse they at least do try to make him his own character <laughs> i can give them that they, they do try to make him his own character compared to like the the sony move the games where he does just he is straight up a peter clone at least in the in the, in the spider verse they try to make him We'll see what they do with the third one, because I could be fucking wrong, and then they could end the third with, oh, you're Spider-Man now, you're not even your own character anymore. So for all I know, they could go <clears throat> out the window, but Miles, I just think it's just such a, he's getting to a point, too, he's overdone. He's just pretty much any Spider-Man thing, he's gonna be in it now, It, it which is annoying, because it's like, in a perfect world, we get, we would have had a perfect trilogy with Peter, for the video game, but no. We gotta shove this character, and now we're gonna potentially have a Spider-Man game where clearly the third, in the third one, it's gonna be Green Goblin. Like, that's, they've been teasing that. So, we could potentially get Green Goblin versus, what, Miles with no Peter? You know, you see how, like, that doesn't make any sense? Green Goblin and Peter have, especially, oh my god, it's, it's frustrating. So that is why I'm kind of over the characters. I just wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about that for a while. I just haven't had the chance. And I figure, you know, with what Insomniac is doing, and I'm going to say it, I'm pretty much done with that world now. Why, why would you come out and say that? Like, you just, now you just kind of like, oh, okay, I'm good. And people are, can argue, oh, well, Peter might come back, and he'll be second fiddle. There's that part of it. But also... The way they did it is so bad. They just wanted to say Miles is their Spider-Man. They didn't care how they got there. They just wanted to do that. And when I see that kind of shit, I'm like, I'm good. Anyway, guys, um, probably in the afternoon, again, it'll probably be some, it'll be during the day. Um, I will be reviewing Annabelle. I'm going to probably watch it probably in the morning. I was originally going to watch it like later in the evening, but I think I might just watch it maybe in the morning. Um, I know it's, it's like six, seven right now. So maybe like thinking I'll watch and run like oh, 10 or 11 and maybe I'll do the review one or two. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll be doing that. So I'll do two videos today. Tomorrow, um, we'll be back with X-Men First Class. I cannot wait to talk about that. That movie is actually really fucking good. Kevin Bacon, um, I, the way they were able to tell the origin of the X-Men and actually the costumes or everything about that movie is great. So I'll be talking about that tomorrow. Um, I don't know when I'm seeing that Thanksgiving movie. Um, I will be reviewing it. I just don't, it will most likely be on the weekend. I just don't know when I'm seeing it yet. So, but anyway, guys, I'm gonna cheers and I'll talk to y'all later. Ha, ha, ha.